All right, so today I'm gonna walk you guys through something that took me quite a while to figure out. Uh, I couldn't find proper instructions. There was really no good videos on it. I saw a couple of videos that showed you how to set up the OSD on a Mr. Steel PDB and OSD on KISS, but no one actually showed you how to set up RSSI. So today I'm going to be showing you guys and walking you through on how to fully set up RSSI on either your KISS Mr. Steel PDB via OSD or another OSD. Okay, so you'll see that there's a whole menu that you can set up the display, the call signs, move items, everything. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for a video made by Flux FPV that he goes over full detail on how to solder and wire up the Mr. Steel PDB board. Today I'm just going over the RSSI portion and he covers everything else. Okay, so I'm starting at the PDB configuration screen. That's the first step to updating the PDB and the firmware. So that's where you're going to see all the update, display, call signs, and everything else. Now, once I show you how to set the remote up, that's going to be assuming you already finished the configuration screen and uploaded the OSD firmware itself. If you're not sure how to do that, that's going to be in the link in the description as well. RSSI, and you're going to set those settings. RSSI channel aux 4 then the next one down go ahead and put RSSI for minimum ppm put 2000 and for max ppm put 1009 all right once you have those settings saved you can either go to icons and for RSSI icons you can have like a little bar a status bar that shows a signal level it's not very accurate it's only three or four bars I choose to leave it off and actually get the physical number percentage reading going from a hundred percent down to where I have my RSSI on my remote set up for the alarm at like 45 or 43 so go ahead and go back from there and then that'll be it hit back you can go I would definitely from here I would go to move items and your RSSI naturally, if your call sign is in the middle of the screen like I have it, the RSSI automatically gets placed right next to it about there and it interrupts your call sign and it gets quite annoying. So go ahead and move that now over a little bit, but still leave room for the extra digits. So I'd say about right, uh, right there. Once you have that saved, go ahead and go back. Okay, so setting it up on a remote. What you're gonna do is go over a couple of pages to inputs. So hit menu, page, page. Oh. Go ahead and go to input. And what you're gonna do is create a channel. I created channel eight for RSSI. Now the settings you're gonna have it set up to is for input name, I put RSSI source I as well put RSSI because I had it already set up in my remote scale put that to 100 weight 100 offset 0 and then leave the rest alone expo 0 once you have that done go ahead and go over another page go over to mixer you're gonna go down, I set channel 8 as well, just like I did for the input. I made an RSSI channel. So what you'll do is I put mix name RSSI, source RSSI, weight 100, offset 0.
and leave the last alone. Hit back. Once you have that set up, then that's it. So when you go to, when you have your quad powered up now, so you can go to inputs, so hit page, page, page. When you get to the input screen with the numbers, now when you plug your quad in, immediately Genetic you'll see down there, okay. immediately you'll see down there on channel eight, where we set up, that is your RSSI value. So right now we're at 97, and if I cover the antenna, it drops down. So this is going to be your RSSI reading. Okay, so now when you go back and look at your goggles or a monitor, you'll see that you have the RSSI feed right there. And then when you go to your remote and you look at the actual number, when you go to the remote and you look at the actual number for RSSI versus what's on the screen, it's pretty close. It's within range, so at least you'll get a rough estimate on about how your signal strength is while you're flying, so you're not flying completely blind and just waiting on a shout out. Alright, that's it. Yeah, I know it was a pretty choppy and grungy raw edit, but it wasn't supposed to be anything serious. I was just putting together an edit to show people how to set up the RSSI on the OSD for the KISS setup. I couldn't find a video out there when I was looking for it, doing it at the time, so I figured I'll make one. If you have any questions, put them down below. Other than that, thanks.